I'm going to ease this on you. This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Because I know you're wondering, what am I doing? Well, I'm going to ease it on you because it's a shock to me. But this is... <laughs> this is the real me without a wig. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I had to... Remember I told you from the medicine I had to cut all this in the front off? I left the back long, but I had to cut the front off. Because that's the part that suffered the most. It got thin, it got short. It's filling in now. Thank God it's filling in. But my goodness gracious. Mm. Yeah. So, the reason you're dealing with this right now, you just have to love it or lump it, <clears throat> is because I'm going swimming over the next few days. And I just didn't feel like trying to slap that wig on my head. <laughs> So, now that you've gotten over the shock, I hope you still love me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, it took a little, a little nerve for me to do this, because when I look at myself, I'm like, <laughs> I'm still dealing with the getting old thing, trust me. The best thing to do, to do is laugh at it. I don't want to cry about it, because there's nothing I can do about it, y'all. Anyway. And I can't put color on my hair yet. You see the colors growing out. I can't put the color on my hair until it's gotten strong enough and all that anesthesia from last year has come out of my system. And my hair feels normal. It's still not quite normal yet. But when it feels normal, I'll probably put some color in just to give my eyes a break. Okay, now, this is going to be real short, all right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to talk about there being schisms in the body. Father, I ask you to anoint this video. If you can just get past what you're looking at and hear what I'm saying. Um, I'm uncomfortable, so just, you know, understand. <laughs> I'm very uncomfortable. Okay, there's a scripture that says there should be no schisms in the body and this is why when I was dealing with taking communion and all that my point is when you don't rightly discern the body of Christ the body of Christ is the face the head well we won't look at that the hands the eyes the lips the arms the legs the feet everything the mouth everything now you cannot take a hand and say, I hate you. Now, you may not be crazy about the way things look, but you cannot say, I hate you. The eyes cannot hate the hand. It's impossible. The mouth cannot hate the feet. The heart cannot hate the large intestines. It all is one mechanism working together. Now, I want to share this with you. When I was in the hospital last year, the doctor told me, he explained how the heart, the pumping of the heart, affects the working of the kidneys. How the kidneys and the heart affect the lungs. And it's like one solid triangle. They work together as a unit. So the heart can't hate the kidneys. The kidneys can't hate the lungs, the lungs can't hate the heart. Get my drift now, you ought to have it, I've beaten that to death. My point is, in the body of Christ, you cannot hate brother so-and-so. You cannot hate sister so-and-so. Now, there are wolves in sheep's clothing. And through the gift of discerning of spirits through the Holy Spirit, you will be able to tell the genuine from the snake. You will be able to tell that. I'm talking about the true body of Christ. Those who you can tell by their fruits, by their attitude, by everything about them. They are truly children of God. Now hopefully your 
are found to be true, hopefully I'm found to be true. However, because the heart is deceitfully wicked, and the Bible says who can know it, we have to constantly ask God to purify our hearts so that we will be found righteous in Him. Our love will be acceptable to God. And in order for your love to be acceptable to God, you cannot disrespect, you cannot look down on, you cannot uh, literally hate. You can't hate, you can't resent, you can't uh, choose not to forgive your brother or sister in Christ. You are all parts of the body of God. Jesus Christ so if you know a Catholic and you happen to be a Lutheran you as a Lutheran you have no right to hate the person who chooses to be a Catholic if you see that that Catholic is showing all the workings of the Holy Spirit and they are founded on Jesus Christ and they, they are filled with the Holy Spirit and they have a love for people and everything they do is out of love and you feel good when you're around them but you just can't, you just don't want to be bothered because they go by the Catholic faith. You know what? Not all Catholics are from the Vatican. There are spirit-filled Catholics. So you can't pick and choose who's in and who's out. If that person claims Jesus as their Lord and Savior, and they are showing good works, good, good fruits, love, peace, joy, they're showing all that. You have no right to hate them or reject them because they have the wrong brand name. If they're in Jesus Christ like you're in Jesus Christ, that other stuff has nothing to do with it. You are part of the body of Christ. Now, I'm going to leave it at that for now because I think you get my, my, my drift. But if you have issues with people of any other faith, if you have people, I mean, if you have issues, now I'm talking about all faiths that are founded in Jesus Christ. That's all I'm dealing with. We are all part of each other, like it or not. And if you don't like it, you've got to ask God to give you a heart to love it. Because if you don't love your brother in Christ and your sister in Christ, you better not take communion. You better wait till you get your heart together and you pray on that bad boy until God totally readjusts your attitude for you which he may have to do for you if you can't do it for yourself. God bless you.